Southland version 2026 introduces a new option for creating elevation door symbols. Found under Draw, Detail, Opening Shapes, the new door layout tool is a simple and convenient method for laying out new door styles, complete with glazing sections, door panels, rails, and styles, allowing for the door to adjust all of its components proportionately as the overall size of the door is changed. To start out, a box is sketched on the drawing screen to indicate the width and height of the door. Once drawn, the door layout can be edited for a specific size. This initial size of the door is only used as a starting point, as all door sizes using the same style will adjust proportionately without any distortion to any of its parts. By selecting Edit Door Properties, specific defaults for the initial door can be set, such as the top shape, hinge side, and frame. Once the basic door properties are set, the composition of the door can be created by adding various door parts consisting of glazing sections, panels, rails, and styles. The door layout initially adds door glazing to the middle of the door. The height and width of each part can be variable, such that it will adjust depending on the overall size of the door. When the height or width are fixed, then that door part will be set at that specified size regardless of the overall size of the door. Here the door glazing will be fixed at a 4 foot height, while the width will remain variable to adjust as the width of the door adjusts. To add additional parts to the door, select the Add Row option and an additional door part is added to the layout. In this case, the door part will be set to Style Rail, with a fixed height of 4 inches. This will allow a 4 inch separator between the 4 foot glazing and the bottom door panels. To add the bottom door panels, select the Add Row option again and change the part to Panel. The height and width of the door panel will not be fixed allowing for the size of the panel to adjust as the overall door size changes. Each part of the door's composition can be edited by highlighting that part and then selecting the Edit Part option. The panel style will be set to a raised panel and its profile width will be set to 1.5 inches. When selecting the Add Row option, the various door parts are stacked one over the other creating rows on the face of the door. If necessary, door parts can be assembled one next to each other by selecting the Add Part option. This will allow another door part to be inserted beside the current door part, creating a multi-part row. In this example, the door part next to the panel will be set to Style Rail, and the width set to a fixed size of 4 inches. Add Part is selected again to add another panel in this row. The second door panel is edited to match the properties of the first door panel. The height of the entire row can also be modified at the top of the row panel. In this example, the row panel will remain variable, so the fixed option will not be set. Under the perimeter rails and styles, the size of the perimeter edges can be set. Here, the top and sides are set to 4 inches, while the bottom rail is set to 6 inches. This will adjust the various parts in the door, but maintain the size of any fixed dimension. If necessary, the door components can be further modified. In this case, the height of the door glazing is changed to 5 feet, resulting in the heights of the panel row adjusting, since the panel row is not fixed. Once the elevation view of the door is complete, it can be added to the existing libraries by selecting the Create Elevation Opening button and giving the new elevation door symbol a name. To use the new elevation door opening, it must be tied to a plan opening symbol. To create a plan opening symbol, select File, System Options, System Library and change the library type to Openings. Select an existing library and then hit the One Step option under Add Symbol. Fill out the new opening's name and specify the plan representation to be a door, while setting the elevation view 
to the new elevation door layout previously created. Specific properties for the new door can be further defined under the Edit Individual Component option, where the door's overall dimensions can be entered. If necessary, other door sizes can be added to the library using the same elevation opening created from the same door layout. Each different door size will allow each of its individual parts to adjust their sizes as specified in the original door layout. Once the new door is added to a floor plan, its size and other properties can be customized by editing the door and turning off its product code option. Here, the door width is set to 2 foot 6 inches. To turn this single door into a double door, set the number of horizontal sections to 2, then increase its width to 5 feet. When grills are enabled on the door, the grills appropriately fill the door glazing and accurately show the specified grill size and style. SoftPlan's new door layout tool will greatly assist you in adding more customized door styles to your design.